How lucky and how um, blessed I am right now to be able to be part of TruSpec is, you know, having that support for the women's side because we do have some obstacles in different companies. It makes a whole difference. You can trust your guys more than, than anyone, so thank you. I'm looking for same spin rate, um, a little bit less dispersion. I think that's going to be uh, very, very important for me just to, to tighten up those iron shots. Okay, so uh, we just went through my my gamer set and basically we're just kind of taking that as a baseline. So this is the new, this is the tour cavity back. Okay. This is the one that Rom and all those players kind of shockly yeah. use. Yeah. It gives you a nice sort of forgiving setup profile mm -hmm. like your Titleist, okay. but has that clean, low offset, top line, mm -hmm. compact head. These, mm -hmm. let's yeah. say compare these to the Apex set that are a little more game proven, but they're still forged. Mm -hmm. Those are a lot of, little more low spin, where yeah. these are designed to add more spin. Add more spin. So adding more spin as the control, as higher launch, right. adds a better ball flight. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like there's more compression on this one. Well, better contact. Yeah. Yeah. What you were talking about in the beginning, what are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Higher spin, higher height. Right. Uh, tighter dispersion. Mm -hmm. That's sort of where that head kind of brings you into. Okay. And a slight push, but I can just hear the contact. The contact yeah, the is contact so is much better. Solid. Look at the launch, the launch went up to two degrees. Oh, it did? You were at 17. Yeah. That's 19. How about height? As far as peak height, yeah. these are going higher. Higher. So 92 feet, which I love. Mm -hmm. So on average, you're hitting, you're hitting the new the TCBs, 92 feet closer to 100. Your launch is at 18 on average, mm -hmm. which I love because you started out at 17, yeah. 16, a couple when you were a little low. Yeah. Um, 201s were you know good. All these are good. Yeah. Biggest the biggest difference is the spin rate. The spin rate. Alright. Circ side. That was solid. Yeah. See that's what scares me. Yeah, and that wasn't a draw. I mean that scares me because that came out. Solid, but yeah, too low spin. Way too low spin. So swing wind has nothing to do with how high you hit it. No, it's like you know. That's oh. gonna that's gonna be more what you're feeling. The swing, it might it might make you compensate your swing a little bit. Yeah. But there's a reason why your set is C six and a half swing weight, and if that's the best. That's the yeah. most comfortable feel you want. Yeah. So whatever we go with, I want to fall Has to do that, that range because that's the most comfortable swing weight. Right. That's why when the, the new set, supposedly the same specs, is a little longer, yeah. which adds weight, but the T0 to C6 and a half. That's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. So it doesn't feel stiffer. Right. It just feels heavier. Right. But that's not going to make the, it the, what's going to make it higher is shaft to pick up. It. Okay. So between these two, the, the Mizuno and the Callaway. I'll go with Mizuno. I don't know what, I mean, I have this thing in my mind of Callaway that I, it has to truly convince me. I don't know why. Like, yeah, you, have I be, think, you have to come in open-minded. I know. I'm curious about that spin. The only thing that I see better, Yeah. and I want to just nitpick between the two heads, is the height. Um, the height and the contact. You were me a bit more solid with the, the Callaway TCB. Yeah. And you were about say a degree and a half, two degrees higher launching. What's the what's the um height difference? Very similar as far as peak height average. Yeah. Which I like. For you, you know, peak height, the higher it is with the right spin rate, yeah. That's where your control mid long irons can have a lot more control. Right. Everything to me seems like it leans better, better towards to the calories. Yeah, okay. As a possible Yeah, possible switch. switch. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
And we'll just kind of run through a few of these shafts. Yeah. So that's the Mitsubishi OTI. Mm -hmm. That's the one that Carlotta uses. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Same white, 95 grams. Yeah. A little more spin. A little more spin. It's perfect. I like. I think long. I kind of like this one better than the the Acura. Well, that one probably feels that has a little more. I want to say a little more play but it feels that it's a little more active at the bottom to produce a little more spin or a little higher launch. Okay. Which is going to add into better landing. Is that has to do something with how much curve you're going to have? Well, no. No. The curvature, you said, I mean, the curvature is going to be club head and shaft combination, but What's that's it? mainly going to add into spin and launch Touch. versus left or right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a sound. Like, I know you, you're probably going to hate that, but you can just hear it yourself. Yeah. And look at that, 5300, 5400, 19.4, 115 ball speed. Your club speed's going to go up during tournament play. Yeah. So whatever you're at, if you're at 85 right now, you might be 87, let's say 88. So distance is not going to be an issue. My thing is, what can we find now that's gonna, you can take it to the golf course? We're gonna gain height, gain yeah. land angle. Yeah. That means your mid irons and long irons yeah. are gonna go higher right. and land softer and yeah. prone. The thing is that I have so much like love for Titleist right now because I've won and I've played my best golf with Titleist since I switched when we were playing at PXG. Yeah. And I still have like the, this attachment to, you know, I have like good, have good memories and yeah. Oh, that's good. The shaft does make it better. Better, right? It does. But what? I just, the contact is not the same. It's more solid. Yeah. To me, uh, yeah. the Callaway versus the Tylus T100. I don't know if that's just a very sweet spot. You know, yeah, more that 10. could be. Um, I mean, it, it is better. 100%. Yeah. I think the Acro is out, out the window. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So Gabby, as a recap of the fittings for today, we started off with your old T100 iron, which you love. Mm -hmm. We're looking for tighter dispersion, higher launch, more spin, yep. more control, right? Mm -hmm. So what we came up with was the Apex TCB, which gave you same accuracy, because yep. you love the accuracy of your old set, right. but we gained higher launch, almost two degrees, yep. one and a half to two degrees of launch, more spin, which brings you more control. That was perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Yeah. More, a lot more confidence in the shaft because mm -hmm. it has a little more play in it. Right. So giving you that more height. The peak height was at almost at 100 feet, where you started at 82 to 85 mm -hmm. feet. So higher launch means more control. Land angle was perfect. Yeah. So big improvement on the irons. Huge. I, I'm I'm really pleased with, you know how. It came the process around just trying different stuff. I feel that you know you as a player want to try pretty much everything. We want to make sure that you cover you know shafts, um, club heads, and I feel that we accomplished that. And um, at the end, the result was you know very satisfying. I loved it, and I can't wait to you know put it in play in the golf course.